Whenever I hear someone described as a horrible racist, I just picture someone who's really bad at racism. Right? Like they're trying their hardest, but they can't quite get the hang of it. Like, hey, black guy, looking good. Fuck. Ah, <laughs> oh, that wasn't racist at all. <laughs> Shit. Idiot. I'm a horrible racist. <laughs> there goes my dreams. Now I'll never be a police officer. <laughs> Shoot. Like I remember during the pandemic at like the height of the Black Lives Matter movement, I read an article about a, a man, a white man in Toronto who attended a Black Lives Matter protest <clears throat> in full blackface. <laughs> full, head to toe, he went all out. He even had the Afro wig on. It was offensive. Yeah, like even Robert Downey Jr. would be like, man, that's too far. <laughs> it was offensive in every way possible. And uh, it specifies in the article, it said he did this because he thought it would help the cause, which is the whitest excuse I've ever heard <laughs> in my life. Honestly, I'm surprised he said the cause and not you people. <laughs> it was bad. It also specified in the article, this is the good part. This is the actually funny part, not the horrible part. It said in the article that this man had to phone his mother to come pick him up. That is a phone call I wish I could have heard. Even just his side of the phone call, I would love to hear just, hey mom, you gotta come get me. No, they hated it. Turns out I'm a pretty good racist. So if you could come pick me up as soon as you can, Oh, and mom, I would wash your face first. <laughs> they do not like it. 